There's the mountain, everybody. Mount Chiliad. Way up in the distance there. Yeah. All right. Got our northern dukes out. Taking a bit of a break from the after hours nightclub. The owner's got to get away here and there. <laughs> and today we're going to pick up something else. So welcome back, everybody. Hello. Yeah, that's me. Whoa, going too fast. <laughs> Now, I'm the Mizenzog, and welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. Let's switch views here. Got a friend with us, at Midnight S'mores. Oh, along for the ride. And we're gonna head over here. Yeah, oh, I must have scraped it on the way. Yeah, so today, for episode 269, I thought we'd uh, do something different. So I think we're gonna get into the Sand Kings. Oh, hey. Crazy drivers lately. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I gotta go around the corner. Just pass by my house on the other side. So I'm up in uh, Plato Bay. Plato Bay, Plato Bay. And uh, we're gonna get our trucks ready. So I've got a couple Sand Kings already in there for us to have a look at. So there are two Sand Kings in the game for GTA Online. The Sand King XL and the Sand King SWB. Yeah, very popular to this day. Although generally mediocre vehicles, I would say, as far as stats go. In she goes. This is actually where she normally is. Yep, she's home. All right. Oh, 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 wrong button. Hello, there, everybody. <laughs> there I am. So yeah, don't forget to visit Studio Los Santos. <laughs> All right, so there's the Sand Kings right here. Yep, big vehicles. So once upon a time, they used to be one of the biggest vehicles you could get in the game. Yep, very cool. And uh, there is the two versions. So this is the, uh, the Sand King XL. And as you can see, it's got a four door and it actually does seat four. So your whole company can sit in that. And we're gonna actually turn that into a city truck, our business truck. And then over here, we've got the SWB, the Sand King SWB, short wheelbase. And it's actually a two door. And it's gonna be our off-roader. It's probably gonna stay up here in the north for taking up on the mountain. Maybe we'll do that right after we get them all ready. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we'll go around and give Beaker's Garage a little bit of business. Yep, see him again. Well, I don't think we've seen him since our uh, Rat Rod Tornado over there. Yeah. Another great car. I like that car. Lots of fun. I wish I could get these uh, tires on more vehicles. That'd be very cool. Yep. And we've got the MOC truck and other trucks that have been in the game for a while. It'd be nice if you could get dual tires on the back of these and other trucks too. Yeah. So, a little bit of a comparison. So, yeah, this is uh, kind of a Sand King um, XL versus uh, versus SWB. So, for those of the people that want to know. So, just so you guys know, they're pretty much identical. Identical vehicles. Um, now, you can steal them, and we're going to go have a look at the description, because you can also order them for cheap, depending on, um, you know, how you feel, if you want to spend time trying to steal them or not. But they are spawn, they do spawn all over the map. So, maybe I'll have a quick look at the map here. We'll get that out of the way with. So if you are stealing the SWB and the XL, you can generally find them over here incredibly often. So right in the middle of the map here. Yep. Just outside Sandy Shores. Yep, right near Franklin's uh, uh, Los Santos Customs, for those that remember that from the single player. And there's actually a uh, parking lot that a lot of people are familiar with where you can actually steal Sand Kings that are worth money because they already have custom options done on them. So you can sell them over here for extra money or keep them. You want to save some money. Yep. Now that said, the Sand Kings do, do show up all over the map. You can often find them at the beach, right beside the dock for the XL. So um, they are um, not really a rare vehicle at all. So you can find them all over. That said, they're very popular. Um, I, I don't know. I'd almost say classic GTA 5 vehicle. So a lot of people, you know, have these from back in the day. And it's funny because a lot of people still have them. You know, despite having all these amazing choices these days, and a lot of the people do have them, the Camachos, the the gun running vehicles, and all these amazing things. But quite often, most people still have their Zan Kings. You know, and they still take them out. Yeah. Now, um, let me see. I gotta grab my sheet that wasn't ready here, and there it is. So. Let's see on the prices here. Oh, we'll see that as we read the description anyway. So let's have a look at that. We'll read the descriptions. They can be kind of funny sometimes. 
and then we'll get into some more of the uh, comparisons. But they are near identical vehicles, so maybe I should finish that first. So basically the engines are the exact same, so the big engines in here are the exact same, but basically the short wheelbase here, the SWB Don, is considered slightly better. Um, it has slightly higher gear ratios, so it goes through the gears a little bit faster, and it has slightly better traction, probably due to the short wheelbase. So because of that, it's generally considered just ever so slightly faster than its sister over here, the uh, XL, the bigger brother, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, they are near identical in stats, but this one seats four and this one's slightly better and seats two. So that's my off-roading choice for fun, I should say, not necessarily for racing, for fun. And I think in a sense, it's a GTA V classic, you know, not a throwback from other games or other um, uh, GTA games necessarily, but from, uh, from this game. From the original version it came out, a lot of people really liked it. Because as you guys can tell, it's a huge vehicle. It used to be, and might have even been, the biggest vehicle you could put in your garage. You know, that wasn't uh, some kind of a cheater, mod, or temporary thing you could do to get other vehicles in your garage. This was one of the biggest regular vehicles you were allowed to have in the game. Until, um, until they did a whole lot of DLC to change that. Yep, I think starting around gun running. So, and that said, it still is one of the biggest vehicles in the game, as you guys can tell. Yeah. All right, so let's have a look at the description. So you can order them other under Southern San Andreas, Super Autos. And well, let's see, I'll organize it by price. Probably be easier. Let's see if we can find the first one. Shouldn't be too far down. I don't know, was there an option for trucks? There might've been. There's the Rebels, kind of a Marty McFly version if you do it all in black. There are clean versions of the Rebels you can get these days too. All right, so there's the Vapid Sand King SWB for only 38000 Part of the Beach Bum pack to be able to order it, I guess. Seats too. All right. It doesn't get any more American than this heavy-duty pickup. Big, brash, and loud. The Sand King blusters its way into any environment without a second thought. <laughs> Sounds perfect for our off-roader. All right, now, unfortunately, this list resets, so let's uh, sort it out again. Is there a truck option? I don't think there is. We'll go to the four door though, and by price, and that might help bring up that Sand King SW or XL, I should say, even faster. Nope. Did I go by it? No, it just doesn't work. Even though it's a four door, it doesn't show up there. Of course not. You can't expect Rockstar to have these things working, right? <laughs> Jeez, menus. Who cares about those? Not Rockstar. <laughs> They just, well, maybe they do. They got like a lot of menus in this game, so maybe they love my menus too much and not fixing them so much. <laughs> All right, Vapid Sand King XL, 45,000. There it is, seats four. All right, boys love trucks, as do dogs. Though we don't recommend you put your boy or your dog in the back of this baby when ripping through pristine environments. Leave only tire tracks and empty beer vans to let them know where you were there. <laughs> All right, now despite that description, one of the other unique things about this vehicle that some people may or may not know or may have forgotten is that the bed, the, the bed of this vehicle, let's get them back there and maybe we'll try it out, but in the bed of this vehicle is actually stable. Um, only a handful of vehicles in the game um, have this ability. So like off the top of my head is like uh, the, the Guardian, the Dune Loader, and the CO Wastelander, and there's a couple others, I think. But very few vehicles have this ability. Most vehicles, if you are on top of them or in the back of them, you'll get thrown around or thrown off. If you put an ATV in the back, it would get blown up by all the tossing around and then damage. But in the Sand Kings, you, they're actually stable. So you can put an ATV back there. You usually have to use a ramp or something to jump it in there and hopefully not do too much damage, but it'll actually be in there stable as you drive around, as long as you're not too crazy, I suppose. Yeah, so people can stand in the back and shoot stably and not get thrown around as you're driving around, which is pretty cool. So that's one of the, uh, the unique features about these vehicles, and that counts for both the XL and the SWB. All right, very cool. So let's uh, get this over to the Beaker's Garage. I think I'm gonna head this over in the four door. All right. Now, to the, as far as the comparison goes, the uh, uh, the top speed, and I usually get these from Ruffy1322, he does great testing, but as far as top speeds go, in the off-road category, the uh, XL, like we're in right now, it's going to be our city truck, is actually in uh, 22nd place in top speeds. So, mm -hmm. mediocre truck. Um, the SWB over there is in 21st place. So, surprise, surprise, they're right beside each other. 
in the track speed, which is tracks is usually like a, like a like a, a circular track or a, a figure eight or something like that, more about traction than top speed. Um, the XL is 31st that we're in right now, and the SWB over there is 29th. But they are near side by side the whole time. Yep. And for off-roading, most people will consider the SWB because of the short W wheelbase to be slightly better too. So that's why this one's going to be, despite I like, I like taking this big one off-road, but still, it's going to be our city one. It's going to go to our nightclub. It's going to be a nightclub management truck. <laughs> so let's take it out to Beaker's Garage. Whoa, what's going on? That's weird. Oh, hey, I'm so sad you don't take my offers of help seriously. Well, no, I got a nightclub now. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. It's fun. I've had a lot of weird, you know, I think I've had some comments too, but people talking about that weird traffic ever since the uh, new After Hours DLC. Actually, I think it was like a week before I noticed weird, you know, uh, pedestrians spawning in and out and, and vehicles driving with no drivers and stuff. And you guys just seen that uh, Sand King double up on me, you know, so it was just a pedestrian one on top of me, which is weird. And it's weird that it'd be the exact same color, right? Maybe just chance, but strange. <laughs> All right, nice big truck. So this one we're going to do up as a bling truck, as nightclub management, as a mobile advertisement for how big Studio Los Santos has gotten. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. Excuse me. Nightclub management, coming through. Yep. I haven't been up to be a sea beaker in a while. Beaker's garage. In we go. What's wrong with her now? Okay. Nothing's wrong with it. Just needs more. So we're going to armor it up. Armor upgrade for 100% for 35,000. Brakes. Race brakes for 17,500. From 60 to zero in like two seconds. Nice. I don't know if that's going to be true, but nice. <laughs> Bumpers. All right, so we're going to get into the off-roading one and the differences in the uh, customization you might want to pick between the off-road ones and the city ones like we're doing now, or the, the toy ones, the bling ones, whatever you want to think of it as. So this one we're going to be not off-roading in, so I'm going to hook it up with the, the big the big bumpers. Yeah. So painted skid blade and bull bars, 4,700. 4, there we go. Bumpers, did we miss our back bumper? I guess there is no back bumper. Thought there was. Chassis upgrade. All right, chrome roll bar, painted roll bar, painted double roll bar, and bed cap. Yeah, I love all the options. There's a lot of good options for this vehicle, and when you think about it, this is one of the first vehicles in the game, so it's uh, it's been this way since the beginning. So that's kind of cool. So this one we're gonna get a bed cap. <laughs> yep. Nightclub. Very cool. I always like that. Even though I think it, like, you know, we can't put an ATV in there anymore or anything like that. But that's okay. That's okay. I still like it. Yeah. And our off-roader won't be like that. So, engine, level 4, 16,750. Oh, mm -hmm. All right. Now, this is a series I would also say is part of our uh, Forgotten Heroes, low-priced good cars, you know. The Sand King, like I said, a lot of people still have their Sand King. And to me, it's got... Um, you know, despite the fact that the stats might be mediocre, it's one of those vehicles that feels right. You know, a lot of people talk about that, you know, and we've talked about that in the past. The certain vehicles feel better than others, and the stats don't really tell you much about feeling. You know, and feeling some people don't think exists, but it's actually true. You know, like when you get in a vehicle, some vehicles like fit like a glove, or they don't. You know, some vehicles you have to learn how to drive them because, you know, they just don't behave like you expect them to. And other vehicles you just hop in the first time and you're gone. And that's the kind of thing that I mean. And, and when the Sand King, for a lot of people, when you hop into it and you go off-roading, it feels natural. Despite the uh, stats being mediocre or not, it feels like it behaves like it should. I hope that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're going to chrome this one up, so we're going to give it the chrome extended fuel tanks instead of the black ones. Now, this is also a city truck choice um, for our nightclub. And I mention that because when we do the off-roader, we're not going to put that in. So as you guys can see, it really changes the clearance. So for off-roading, you definitely don't want this. Even though it's nice looking to some people, you know, like it really changes the, it gives it that big truck look. It really um, gets rid of a lot of your clearance there. Yeah. But we're going to chrome this one up for the city, for the nightclub. 
All right, now our grill, chrome grill, mm. black grill. Oh, tempting, but we'll go chrome grill for this one. I think I usually go black grill, so I think in the past, I think this might be the first time I picked the chrome grill. Horn, this definitely needs a truck horn, naturally. <laughs> all right, gotta be able to wake up all the neighbors. Night glow marriage, right? <laughs> Headlights, neon lights. All right. Now, neon kits, I'm actually going to give this one a neon kit, but I guess we'll paint it first. Hmm. Or maybe I could give it the neon kit now. Why not? We're here. We'll do it. Front, back, and sides for 30000 There we go. All right, now I'll wait on the color just to make sure, but I think I know my colors, but still, just until I get it done, I'll, I'll leave that for now. It's pretty rare, actually, that I use the neon colors these days, or the neon lights. Our plate, we need that. Yep, missing sock. Beautiful. Yellow and black. All right. Awesome. Roof. Sunshade. And of course, we can't see it. We're way over here. <laughs> I love how that gives you these views. Uh, first reason? My sunglasses on. Oh, yeah, that totally is much better. <laughs> oh, well. We'll buy it. Seven, sunshade for only $700. All right, suspension. Now, because this is a city one, I'm going to lower it down. But the off-roader, I'm going to leave up for the clearance over the rocks. So we're going to bring it down, lowered, street, sport, competition, race. 4,600. Low to the ground. Well, if you could call that low to the ground. Yeah. Transmission. Race transmission for 20,000. It actually isn't too bad. Sounds good. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Turbo tuning for 3,000, 30,500, or 35,000. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 3,500 would be much better. All right, tinted windows. Nobody knows what's going on in there anymore. Nightclub management, nightclub business. <laughs> All right, 5,000 for the limo tint. Okay, wheels, uh, I have to decide on that. Respray, respray. All right, secondary color. We're gonna actually use chrome on this. Not very often I use it, but this time, with the city bling, it's gonna be on there. Chrome. It's funny how that chrome doesn't match the other chrome, but it's close enough, I guess. All right, and then metallic. And, oh, no, wrong one. I think I need to go primary color, there we go. Let's go through the colors for you guys. Green. Now that's, like I said before, that's not my particular kind of color, but it does look good on this, this truck. You know, it does look sharp. It does look like it's a, like a California truck. You wouldn't blink an eye of it at it, you know, for a green, not my color, but you know, that's nice too. The gasoline green, hot pink, lava red, frost white, not bad, actually, ice white, cream, and purples. These are some of the specialty colors. That's why they're kind of mixed up at the bottom here. Midnight purple. It's always different. Spinnaker purple. Shafter purple. Bleached brown. Now we're going through the browns. Browns are cool. Very cool on this. Yep, sienna brown. It's kind of nice. If you went with certain red tints and stuff like that, maybe some light red uh, rims or something. darker browns and the blues this looks good in blue you could do blue and white too instead of the chrome like I'm using it'd be a very natural color for this kind of truck if you ask me these uh, trucks um, are based on the Ford third generation super duties and uh, apparently some people think it has influences from the, the Silverado the Chevy Silverado and the, uh, the front headlights yeah hmm. Hmm. Race yellow is not bad though. That's all right. That looks very uh, Baja, very safari. Hmm. Very blingy safari though. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't really belong out there, but somebody's got money to spend, I guess. <laughs> so what do you think maybe seeing that? The red looks nice and sharp too. Yeah. And grays. Yeah, it's a nice looking truck. For what it is, it really looks like a, looks like what you, you know, real life version of a big, big ass, huge truck. Kind of truck that takes up the whole road. <laughs> yeah, just lacking like smokestacks or something. 
Yep, and the dual tires, of course, as an option, like we mentioned earlier. So I'm going to go with the metallic black. And this is one I used to pick a long time ago in, uh, in single player when I used to play it way back on the 360 before I started all this stuff. I think I'm going to use it, for, I think, for the first time since. But probably going to go with an ultra blue here. Yep, even though I like all those colors, there's a lot of good colors there. But I always found that when you do lights on the bottom like we're going to, and the ultra blue on black, it just, yeah, right there, you can kind of see how it just kind of makes it glow. And I always thought that was kind of a cool effect, how it just kind of glowed like that. So ultra blue for 18,750 with chrome secondary. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, let's go back to those lights and finish this up. Lights, neon kits, neon color. All right, electric blue. Or do we want blue? And even the black link wouldn't be too bad either, but that's more of a purple. Hmm. It's a lighter blue. That's a definite. I think I'll go with blue. It kind of matches the uh, the pearlescence better. I think, even though the electric blue is maybe maybe a little bit better. I think the uh, blue kind of matches better. So regular blue it is for another six thousand. Okay, last thing, one last thing left, our wheels, wheel type. Now, I was probably going to go off-road, probably will, but I've never, I don't know if I've used any SUV stuff, so let's have a look. Chrome, chrome you think? <laughs> chrome SUV rims, hmm, maybe. Because this is our city truck, we're going to do a different one for off-roader, so. So if there was a time to use the SUV tires, this might be it. It's actually not too bad that it looks. Hmm. Hmm, if I go me. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think that's... I think just to be different, because I've never used these before, I think I will do something with them. The question is, if I go army, or maybe one of these deluxe or the iced out. Hmm. Iced out, eh? Is that too much? <laughs> is that too much bling? Hmm. Well, it is a nightclub vehicle, right? But it will be a little bit, we'll be a little conservative. Maybe we'll go with the Vagor of Vagormi. <laughs> 15,400, and then we'll have our bling just behind, you know. So we still got some. <laughs> right, and now we can color it, because I picked the regular one. Black. Mm. I do want to see the different colors, just to see what the blue looks like. But I think I'm going to go black. Just to go with the rest of it. There's the blue. It's not bad. Colorful. Mm, probably the bright blue. If I was to pick one, maybe. Ooh, slate blue. That's kind of funky. Yeah, that's really funky. Mm, maybe I will pick the slate blue. Hmm. Apparently it's unlocked after rank 25, so that shouldn't be too hard to get. Okay, it goes with it. Why not? Sold. 17,040. <laughs> Goes with our glowing blue kind of look, I think. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> custom tires? Yeah. We're showing it all off. We'll go custom too. Tire enhancements, bulletproof for another 25,000. Tire smoke, blue tire smoke for 10,000. Naturally. All right, everybody. That's our city truck, and she is done. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Out she comes. All right. Let's go into first person here. Have a look. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you'd expect in the truck here? <laughs> Dashboard, everything as you'd expect. It's nice. Nothing too special, but it's not dirty like some of the other interiors are. So that's kind of nice. Yep. Pop out here. 
And let's open it up. Uh, uh, oh. Ooh, the bottom even opened up. That's nice. <laughs> cool. That is an awesome big truck. It's what you'd expect it to be. You know, like I said, like a glove. Yeah. No surprises, but you wouldn't want one. This is what I'm looking for. It's what it is. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Yep. I think our company approves. <laughs> All right. Let's bring this back to the garage, and later on, I'm going to bring this into the um, to the nightclub. Oh, it sounds good too. Well, maybe we'll we'll go the long way around. Yeah, just for a moment. Hear that? That's nice. Yep. Nightclub management. That's cool how the whole undercarriage glows like that. You don't usually get to see it like that, but on a big lifted vehicle like that, you get a little bit more. Yeah, so that's our Sand King City version, Sand King XL. Mm -hmm. Coming through, nightclub management, visual business. <laughs> uh, there's my house, all right. These are great houses to have in the north for any of you guys who haven't watched any of these ones. Come on, take me in. Take her home. There we go. There's two houses in the way up north Paleto Bay that have six car garages, which are the most you can get up there, way up there. Um, and they're definitely recommended if you ask me because you can have six personal properties, so why not have one way up there? Yeah, it's up to you guys though, of course, but I like having this little spot up here. And it's not like it costs me anything. Like a lot of times in the past, people would say, get all 10 car garages. But these days, there's so many garages available, you don't have to worry about, about those kinds of things. You know, take your time and get a northern house. A house away. <laughs> In Paleto Bay. <laughs> uh, yeah. San Andreas. Travel porch. Maybe pay me. <laughs> All right. So moving on to our off-roader. The SWB. Here she is right here. And this is going to be our fun one. Yep. But only seats uh, two. Unless anybody else wants to hop in the back. <laughs> All right. Let's hop in. And I'm really happy with that city one. It's very blingy. Yep what I was looking for. Something to, to look good inside the nightclub garage. Yep. Something to look like nightclub management might use that. <laughs> All right. Out we go. All right. So this is our SWB. Short wheelbase. Yeah. They're a fun vehicle, as you guys can see. Very lifted. They, um, I guess you could say downside is they are very bouncy, but that's also what people like about them is they're very bouncy. Kind of like a dune buggy you might expect it to be, um, like one of the bigger tired, uh, big tired dune buggies. <laughs> that comes out sounding funny. Not tired like sleepy, but big tires dune buggy, if you know what I mean. Those kinds of vehicles. Yeah, see how it bounces around? And once you get used to that kind of behavior, you can use it to your advantage. It's kind of like inertia, so yeah. You can use that actually when you're uh, off-roading to have a lot of fun. Come on, bigger. Round two. <laughs> two sixty-nine. What you want me to perform? Ah, uh, well, kind of like the other one, but more darker. Another good truck miracle. Yeah. Armor upgrade for thirty-five thousand. It ain't gonna rust, okay? Good. That's what I like to hear. Rust is bad. All right, race brakes for seventeen thousand five hundred. You're good for snow if you're into that. I do like snow, actually. I wish there were snow sessions we could join just for the fun of it here and there. Year-round instead of just at the holidays. All right, painted skid baller. Oh, no, we're not going to get any of that stuff. So this is our off-roader, so we're going to actually keep it good for off-roading. So let's have a look at these differently this time. And I think this time I'm going to probably go, you know, those chrome tow, tow hooks aren't bad. They don't really change our clearance very much. Yeah, so we'll get those. Chrome dogs. Sold. 2,500. A little bit of decoration, right? All right, our chassis. Now, what are we going to get this time? So we got the bed cap last time. For off-road, we might want to keep that available for uh, for people riding along or just for the fun of it or for the classic look and for maybe ATVs and stuff that we'll maybe stick in there sometime and take them somewhere. Yeah. So I think I might go painted roll bar. 
paint a double roll bar. Mm, that's nice, but it looks like it might get in the way. That is nice, though. I'm not too worried about the ATVs. That'd still be room for people. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give you the room in there, I guess. Painted roll bar. 13,000, or 1,350. Engine level four, of course, 16,750. Yeah, I don't think we've ever done two vehicles in one episode, have we? I don't know. Brand new thing for 269. I just thought it would be the right one to do the two vehicles in. Yep, fuel tanks. So as we said, we're not going to do those to keep our clearance up. So nothing there. And our grill. This one, I'm gonna get the black grill. Mm -hmm. Sold. Now that's a custom job. Yep, indeed, 1,340. Horn, truck horn again. <laughs> Two thousand bucks for that. Sold. Headlights. Seen on lights for five thousand. Nice. All right. Neon kits. Hmm. No neon kits. I don't think on this one. Plate. But we need that. Missing sock. Yellow and black. <laughs> Thanks for being everywhere here, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for all the likes. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Good time to say it. See, that's me. Talk. That's my plate. <laughs> All right, proof. Sunshade. I love how it gives you this terrible view. I still can't see it. Uh, well, we'll take it. Why not? 700 bucks. Won't cost that much to change it if we don't like it. Okay, suspension. Now, again, for this one, we are not going to lower it down because we want to keep that clearance up for rock, for, uh, rock climbing. So uh, I think we're going to keep that up all the way. Leave drink. Much better. Two vehicles. It's it's too much. No, it's not. It's never too much. <laughs> Race transmission for twenty thousand. Now you can really manage those RPMs. Yeah, then I gotta go back to grinding away and make some more money. With the nightclub and otherwise to pay for all these things. So turbo tuning for three there. Thirty thousand five thousand <laughs> I think I did that last time. Thirty five thousand. Now he's got some juice. Yeah, I understand the number, but apparently my, my I just don't want to accept it, apparently. It wants to say a lower number. <laughs> now, we do want the limo tent. I do like the limo tent. 5,000. Just gives it a bunch darker profile. Now it's really starting to come, in, come into its look. Okay. Now, respray. Hmm, okay, secondary on this one. I think I'm actually going to go with a matte black. Boom. Yep, you can change it to all kinds of different things. As you guys can see, the secondary is the roll bars and things like that, the bed cap. So you can make some interesting combinations with those two. Yep. Boing. <laughs> very bright. Yep. So, cool. You can make this look very military, um, very um, uh, city, very uh, country, all kinds of different ways. Classic, farm, you name it. It doesn't have any livery choices though, unfortunately. You know, for rusty livery or race liveries or anything. But still, not bad. Primary. All right, so our primary. I'm thinking about actually not doing a per lesson for one of the first times in a while. I think I'm actually gonna just go with a classic black. But I'm debating. Yeah, so let's have a look. So just for a nice classic black off-roader with the matte black all around. And the shiny black and the matte black together. Black on black. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just can't decide. But let's go through those colors. So, most people pick metallic. And we already seen them on the other truck. But we'll quickly go through them. It is slightly different, you know, the cab design. And we're not going to use the uh, the bed um, in the in the cab either. So, a little different than it looked before. But yeah, it's a cool little funky beach truck. The beach dune truck. <laughs> I do like those silvers too. That's kind of nice too. Yeah, but I do like that black look because it uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, 
you know, like Back to the Future's Marty McFly's truck. But, you know, this isn't the right truck. The Karen Rebel would be the better one for that. Far more accurate. But nonetheless, this one reminds me of that, except more beefier, bigger. <laughs> the bigger version of that truck. Yeah, if somebody stepped in and said, no, 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 this one. <laughs> It'd be this one. All right, so I think I'm going to go with it. Sold. Black. All right. Now we just need some wheels. Okay. This one's obviously going to be some off-road airs. Ooh, that's a bright sun. <laughs> Let's go over here. All right, Amazon's always cool. Pretty muscly looking off-roader. Carnegorm's different. I kind of like that too. But I think I'm going to actually look for something a little solid. Like maybe the rock crawler. There's another one in here somewhere. Is it Spooner? No, Mudslinger. Yeah. It's very another another very solid uh, looking rim. Hmm, rock crawlers? Yeah. It's nice sometimes to see through the rims, though. Oh, I don't know. It's a hard decision. These are reminding me of the Spooners, so maybe I will go with those Mudslingers. So Mudslingers, 5,000. But it's a hard choice. A lot of these look really good. Even the 5 star with that little chrome rim would look nice. Now I'm going to color this black to go with the rest of it. That completes the look that I'm really looking for. Tire design, custom tires, sure. Now that really looks like the beefier version of Marty McFly's truck. <laughs> Waiting for him after he gets back from the future. All right, bulletproof tires. These tires are hardcore. 25,000. And black tire smoke for 5,000. All right, guys, that is done. That's our off-roading Sand King SWB. Hey, I don't know if you're saving up that crystal for personal consumption. Hmm, <laughs> busy LJT, spending money. I'll be back to making it soon. Don't worry, don't worry, coming. <laughs> so that's it. So let's uh, open her up. Let's have a quick look. Probably the more or less the same as the Excel, but a little different. So the back still opens, even without the uh, the bed on it. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, maybe up the mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in the garage too. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I'm the missing sock. I'm going to kind of say my goodbye now because I'm going to go off off-roading. But, uh, but yeah, as far as the uh, the uh, customization and review, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, Sand King versus the SWB. Uh, they're the XL versus the SWB. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome truck. And uh, you can steal these and have them for free. So another one of the awesome free vehicles that's out there. Of course, you know, the upgrades cost more, but still, it's always nice when something's free. And it's a great uh, great vehicle to have in the collection. Lots of fun. So I think we're going to go have some fun with it right now. <laughs> All right. So I definitely recommend them. If you got the, the garage space and a little bit of extra money. And it's not too much either. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Really helps us out. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right. So there's the mountain. Yeah, Mount Chiliad. Hmm, how to go at the mountain. I usually go up the uh, the roadways. Probably should. So in the future, I think we might have an episode on off-roading. But we'll do a little bit just so we can test out our new truck. And then I'll bring my city truck to the nightclub. Park it in the uh, garage down below and put it there too. That looks a little steep on that side. 
Yeah, I like that matte black on black. Just kind of gives a good, unique finish. Oh, that's my fault. Because <laughs> I wanted to do that. Just to kind of show you guys. This thing loves rocks. I mean, the paint might not be happy with you. <laughs> but that's just a matter of parking it back in your garage again. Or if you're really impatient, a few hundred dollars at the, at the nightclub. <laughs> Or I should say at the garage. Yeah, I think your passenger likes it too. I know I do. Yeah, this is one of those vehicles that I've been meaning to put in my garage for a long time, guys. Um, I just got busy with this or that, but, you know, it's an awesome vehicle. Woohoo. <laughs> yep. And I wanted to show you guys the differences, kind of, with making it a lowered city truck versus something that has good clearance like this. So you can kind of bounce it around out in the uh, the wilds of San Andreas. Yeah, now, I'm not gonna do it this time, but one thing I used to challenge myself and um, you know, back in the day is I try to drive up the mountain without doing any damage to the truck, like try to actually off-road it all the way up and all the way back down without any damage. It's a very hard challenge to give yourself. Yeah. In some ways it's easy to throw the truck at the mountain, but it's not very easy to do it without damage. <laughs> Here we go. Lift off. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's okay though. She held on. And if I was taking my time, I could crawl through a lot of this. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm not taking my time. I'll drop down this part. Come on, Zanking. You can do it. A lot of times you just kind of crawl your way up. You know, like I said, we'll probably do that in a future episode, but this is a great vehicle for doing it, for playing around with those kinds of abilities. Now, for those that are wondering on the best off-roader, because I forgot to mention that, you know, generally speaking, unfortunately for racing, it's the BF400, which is a motorcycle, or the Sanchez dirt bike. And unfortunately, that's in the class. So if you want to win races, those are the top vehicles. Although some people give you frowny faces because, they, you know, a lot of people consider, don't understand why Rockstar has those bikes in the category. But the, uh, the number one four-wheeled um, off-roader is, I think, generally between the, uh, the uh, Coil Brawler and the uh, Camacho. Yeah. But I love my Saiyan Kings, as do pretty much most people that own one. So if you don't, you might want to be one, too. See? Crawl. But sometimes, you know, you got to go back to forth, crawl your way up like steps, and it'll get a better grip. If you go at it straight on, it's much harder. Sometimes you shouldn't be having the gas all the way down like I do either. If we were going slower, it would have even better grip. The hard part is to make sure you don't go too slow. Yep. I will own you, mountain. You are mine. <laughs> My mighty Zed King will defeat you. There is nothing you could do to stop me. I uh, 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 should never say those things, guys. That's always asking for trouble. <laughs> well, well, no, no. Oh, what did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> uh, uh, stop. No, Sin King, stop. No, Sin no, King, King, Sin King. Oh, Sin King. Come on. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Use, use the toe hook. Drop the toe hook. No, no. Uh. Uh. It'd be nice if we could actually do that. That would be wonderful. Uh. <laughs> and I'm out of practice, guys. Just so you know, a lot of you guys who are used to the off-roading are probably like cringing as you're watching me do some of this stuff. I'll practice. Don't worry. We'll do a good episode. <laughs> but you can do it much better than what I'm doing. 
I'm just kind of showing you the awesomeness that is Sand King. All right, I jump out now and give you a thumbs up, but it's probably not good on you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go, adjust my gas. Trying to keep it from, oh, over there is probably worse, much more steep. Let's turn it around and go over this way. That's right. Uh, this might be the better way. Yeah, but as you guys can see, it's a bit of a challenge to try to get your way up the mountain without using the roads, obviously. The roads themselves could be a challenge without uh, damage, but off-road completely is a whole different challenge. Completely. But it can be done. I haven't done it in a long time, as you can tell. <laughs> but it can be done. We were up there, but we, we, we uh, kind of fell off. Uh, 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 we'll go over here. Third. And despite all this moving around, as you guys can tell, it's generally, aside from scratches, it's still in great shape. You know, all the windows are intact, and there's no real deformation. It's a very mean vehicle for this stuff. Look out! <laughs> Get off the road! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm, uh, I can't resist when you're in this vehicle. Woo. Yeah, so much fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We could go around the corner. But I guess I could I bet you I could make it if I tried hard enough. But I bet you that's why this bat's over here. So as I'm doing this kind of stuff, I'm feathering the gas, and it really helps with your attraction. Ooh. Up we go. Yeah, I think we'll try it another time without using any of the path, and it's a whole different thing. <laughs> There's the top of the mountain right over there. All right. Cool. Pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gonna pay the price for watching the cinematic. No, don't jerk like that, no. <laughs> well, I was going to say, maybe we'll take it down. Oh, oh, the hard way. So much for those windows. <laughs> yeah, going to have to practice. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, I was saying she's tough. So far I haven't done any damage to myself. If you try this in most cars, you will uh, definitely hurt yourself, your character, from all that kind of stuff. But the Sand King has a good job of protecting you. So, Mountain defeated me this time. This time, Mountain. But I'll be back. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'm the Missing Zock. See you again next time. <laughs> Thanks for being on the ride. <laughs> Helps to balance it out. Yeah. Big thanks for Midnight's Wars being here.
probably do some grinding, make some more money. Yeah. Take care, everybody. See if I can find my way out of here. <laughs> Looks so good in cinematic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I got caught. I was supposed to jump off of there, but got caught. Oh, last window to take it. Oh no, I still got one. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah.